this video i'm going to show you guys how to calculate your screening score but before i start i would like to actually talk about some points that i feel you need to know so as far as screening score is concerned screening score is actually uh let me simply say a number of ratings written that is used to evaluate student skills that's the first one student qualification skills or readiness for something like the admission process so in order for the school to actually evaluate your readiness for admission or to actually determine your level of readiness for something or for a particular course you, are, you wish to study school will make use of screening score that is just it so you need to understand how um, the screening score is being calculated actually to be specific in nigeria or let me just say in some schools in nigeria that uh, they are not using post CTME, they are not writing any uh, post CTME exam, it's just post CTME screening score that they are using. So from there, you have to understand that screening score is actually the combination of, uh, let me just say, your jam percent, jam percent, or you simply say UTME score percent, plus your what, your WAEC total point. I'm going to represent as what as TP. This will actually equivalent to what your screening score, that is what the school are going to use to actually evaluate your your readiness for something that's just it for the admission now in short i'm going to take you guys through the process of how to calculate the screening score and then if this is your first time visiting my channel or watching my videos don't forget to like share and subscribe you are actually welcome to brand academy now let's just go ahead and uh, let's just evaluate or let's sim let me simply take you guys through how to calculate the screening score now first thing that you need to understand is that as far as jump percent is concerned jump percent is just what the percentage of what of the jump score that is they are trying to calculate what the percentage that is the percent of your jump score is going to take just like your y x total point will take 50 percent while your screening score as well which is the jump score the jump score rather we take 50 percent then 50 percent of this plus 50 percent of this we actually give rise to what the total screening point that you need right so that's exactly just so that everything here either the what the jump is jump percent or the what y percent both of them actually leads what to the hundred percent screening score that they are going to use now i'm going to take you guys to how to calculate what the jump percent first that's what you need to understand first so then let's go ahead and uh, let me just show you how to calculate the jump percent now first thing that you have to understand is that as far as jump is concerned you are going to write just four four subjects during your jump if you are uh, a science student you are going to write english mathematics uh, biology and then you are going to write uh you're going to pick maybe bi biology and physics. sorry if you're a jump student you're going to write four actually but if you're a science student there are two different type of science students we have the engineering aspect the sci normal science aspect but in the case of normal science aspect they will afterward to take uh, to write the first one which is english they will write physics right we have chemistry right and also what biology it's very very important but if it is engineering students they will afterward to actually replace biology with what with mathematics that's what you need to understand but one thing is that whether you write all these course or everything you just have to know that everything all the total percent that will come from here will actually result to what to 50 percent there's nothing more than that whether you have 400 over 400 you surely have 50 percent that's just it now let's say we have a uh, a jump student uh, that's and this jump student at add uh let me just say he had 258 in his uh normal jam score the normal jam score is what is uh, let me just write it as dx is actually 258 right that was uh his score and he wishes to study nursing right and in that case if the student actually wishes to, to study nursing as a course then that shows that the student will be needing what within will be needing number one the student will be needing what english right the student will be needing what needing mathematics as far as what as right is concerned and then the student will be needing what needing all science course related like what like physics right like uh what again we have biology and also what chemistry that's exactly what you need to know so these are the yec requirements for what for the student that wants to study what nursing right that is the school will actually make so what of five five subjects from uh your yec which is the English, mathematics, physics, and also biology and chemistry. But if the student is actually a commercial or art student, just now they will replace all these class science related courses with either uh, art related courses or what commercial related courses. So you have to have that on mind as well, in mind as well. So now what I will basically so do so I'll do here is just to calculate for the what for jam score or jam percent. Now this is two fifty eight. We all know that 
the normal uh let me just say the normal score for jam the highest score that a student can attain in jam that what is that with 400 and that's exactly what we are having here and let's see that okay uh, this is going to be uh, this is going to be uh this is going to be 60 because you're going to answer a uh, such question you're going to answer 60 question right and then you have 60 divided by what 400 what you are going to get from here you are going to multiply it what with any of your jam score here in this case the not student actually had what 258 and in that is i will simply multiply this 258 by what 60 divided by what 400 400 is the total number of what of score that's exactly uh, the reason why we are using what 400 so it doesn't change this 60 over 400 doesn't change their percentage doesn't what doesn't change as as most quiz scores is concerned now the thing is that just for us to multiply this together and let's see what we are going to have so if we have 258 right then multiply by here we're going to have 60 right then divide our what 400 let's see what we are going to have in this case so this is going to give us 38.7 right that's so that the jump score or simply just says jump percent for this student is actually what exactly 38.7 Right, that's so that the student has what at 38.7. That's just what we have to know. So, in this scenario now, and we said we are going to make it of what of uh jam percent and also what y percent. Already, we've already know the what the jam percent. So, I'm going to put it down here. So, I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to have uh jam percent or simply utm percent for the students that you what 38.7. Right, from what you have here is at 8.7. Now, from there, let me just go ahead and what I move to work as well. Right, because we actually need work, so I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to cut off this part. Why? Because uh, I will actually be using it. Now look at this. I said something. I said I said the work total point for the nurse students will actually be the, the summation summation of all the what the science courses summation of of all the science courses that the, that the uh, all the science subjects that the nurse students actually uh, take during the what is work. And these are the what the subject that we have. We have English, mathematics, physics, uh, biology, and also what chemistry. That's exactly what we are, what we have here. So what is going to happen now is that in order for me to, to calculate this, you have to understand the way uh this the way the what the O level result is actually structured. That is, it is structured. The grade is actually structured in what uh starting from what from we have A, right? We have B, right? And we have C, we have D, we have E, and what and F. Kindly note that these are the normal possible grades you can have. And as far as O level is concerned, they actually take they actually value eight courses very well. They value eight courses. Not even although they will be like, okay, it is nine, but eight of it is actually uh, much more valuable. So depending on the department that you have, you can we, we can ask okay, well, five of it, you have to choose five of it to calculate your point. Right, so from there, this is actually what I am having here. But I want you guys to understand that there are many these things, there are many uh structured there are many ways to which they are actually used to, to structure this grade we already know that these are the six possible grades that you can have that's just it is that's the fact but i want to go guys to understand is that in a num in a numeric form the grades actually exist between what between one to nine the grades exist between what one to nine and in that scenario that shows that you if you have a that's that you have what you have a one right and that will result what how many points eight points that's exactly what you have eight points then if you have b since you are having one here right we have one here you should know that the next one is what is b the one is going to be b this is going to be b2 right b2 will actually give you what seven points hope you guys are following me b2 will give you uh, seven points then the next one that we have is actually b3 right and b3 is actually what six points you have to understand that, that one as well then from there let me just put the rest here so now another thing that you need to understand is that after B3, we have what? We have C4. C4 will give you what? Five points. You have to note that as well. Five points. Then from there, then you, uh, we have C5, which will give you what? Four points. Right? You have to know that. Then the next last thing that we have is C6, which will give you what? Three points. You have to know that. You know, it's just like we are, we are going from, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Since we accumulate what? To three points. Then from there, you have what? We have D seven which you have to give you what two points right it will give you what two points then from there you have what e8 e8 will actually result what to just one point right that's it and the next thing that you need to understand is that we have f9 f is the last and it results what to zero point that's just what i want you guys to understand so these are all the points that we actually have now imagine let's say this student was actually a very brilliant student and uh, she had uh, in English, she had she was she managed to add out A one, 
And in mathematics, she went into what to add what? A1, right? In, in physics, she had, uh, let me just say, she had B theory because she is not really very, very uh, good in physics like that. But in biology, she had what? B2 and chemistry. She was very, 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 very brilliant when it comes to chemistry. She had what? A1, right? This is an, an excellent result because there is no way, no cap, this particular student is going to, is going to enter, right? The school will pick him because at least she managed what, to actually have theory uh, excellent grades here, yeah, which are what A1 that you're seeing here. That will even result what to its qualification. It will really even give a upper hand, right? So now let's go ahead and, what, and calculate what to YX screening score that yeah, you need to understand. All right. So from there, from there, let's say, right? Let me just delete here. So now let's go ahead now. So from there now, I can ask uh, the YX total point can be calculated. Uh, as what as let me just clean everything here i hope you guys will have uh, have it on your mind you should have known it like that or you should have find a way to just put it right so you should have write it down so let me just i'm going to erase everything here because i need to calculate this thing. so let's go ahead so from there you look at this very well i, I said uh we've already calculated what the jam percent which is actually what that's 8.7 then why pass the why total point Will be as a result of what of the grades that this nursing student actually have in his what in our science courses. Now from there we have A1. A1 is actually what how many points in English? That is what eight points. So we have eight plus then mathematics as well is what eight. Then plus again we have faces which is what which is B3 and B3 will give you what we give you seven points, right? Because uh, sorry B3 will give you six points. You have to know that because B2 will give you seven points. B3 will give you what six points. Then plus again, B2 is going to give you what? 7 points. Then plus again, A1 again is going to give you what? 8 points. This is equal to what? Summation of what? Of YX total point. This will give you some, that's, that's going to be summation of YX total point to give you what? The percent that you need here. Right? The percent you need here is a result of what? Of the sum of everything. Now from there, let's just simply add this together. We're going to have 8 plus what? 8. Right? From there, we're going to have plus 6. Right? Then plus 7. Plus eight. Let's see what we are going to have. We have thirty-seven. That shows that this student had thirty-seven, right percent, right. Then what is going to be the what the screening score? It's very very simple. It's just the sum of what the jam percent and also what the y x percent. That's just basically what you need. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut all this off, right. So so let's go ahead and see what is going to happen here. So from there. We've already managed that okay. The YX, YX total point is actually what is actually uh 37 percent. So let's go ahead and calculate the what the screening score, which is very very important. So from there now, look at this. So we have the jump percent, the jump percent is what is 38.7, then plus YX total point is actually what 37 percent, right? So that's just let's just add both of them together. So what we are going to have is actually what 37, then plus 38.7. That's what we are going to have. In this scenario, the girl had 75.7%, right? This is 75.7%. Now, this screen score, you've already calculated it. The girl has already known that, okay, I have 75.7%. Then what the hell is the importance of this screen score? Screen score is very, very important for three things that I'm going to talk about in this video. You have to take note of it. The first one is actually what? If efficient candidate selectiveness or efficient candidate selection. Efficient candidate selection this screening score will actually help the school to select the right candidate for a particular course because someone that have 75.7 it is believed that that person is a very brilliant person why because he managed to have an excellent screening score right excellent screening score this is actually what's a he managed he managed to ask an excellent screening score then that shows that if we are going to pick we should pick this Right, we should pick this. Why? Because he, he, she, uh, he or she had what an efficient candidate and uh, so the, uh, a very high screening score, and that will help in what in choosing what the right candidate for a particular course. Now, the next one that this screening score is actually important for is actually what compa comparing comparing aspirant aspirant. This actually helps what to select some aspirants from from the other. Some excellent aspirants from some other aspirants. That's just what this clinic score actually helps to compare to compare what aspirant. Then the last one is actually what ensuring academic readiness. Ensuring 
ensuring academic readiness. Readiness. You know, the thing is that the school will not want to choose a student that is not really uh, ready for uh, for academic activity. They will, really, they will not want to choose or, or just any out person because they believe that anybody that got, that got below what, below this mark or below what, that is not up to what to cut off mark is does not fit in into short department, no matter how brilliant you are, right? They will use your screening score to actually what pick you. Your screening score is what they are going to use for to choose whether you can fit in here or you cannot. So it's very, very important for you to, to know it. So if you go ahead and, and check the, what, the list of the, uh, let me just say, of the university screening or uh, cut of mark, we check the list for, for the cut of mark, you know, they will be like, okay, nursing students, if you're a nursing student and you add 75.7, that shows that uh, you have, let me just say, uh, let's say the cut of mark for what, for nursing, the cut of mark for nursing, as far as the nursing is concerned, let's say it is, it ranges between, what, between uh, 70 to what, 75. Let's say that's actually what the you no know, that's that this kind of student they will actually what pick that student if listen no if there is few amount of students that actually are what 75.7 because I want you guys to understand something there's something that we call what that we call quota. You have to understand what quota means. Quota simply means the total number of what of students that a school can actually undo when it comes to a particular course. That is the total number of students that uh you know she can you know she, nursing department can actually what that can provide normal effective uh education too. Okay, the number of students that they can actually uh, they can actually what uh take care of is actually what a two students as far as nursing is what is concerned. That should let's not imagine that out of these 80, 80 students, over 70 students actually add what 80 percent. Imagine. Over 70 students actually add what 80 percent. That shows that the addition, the the uh, the percentage that this particular girl with 75.7 is going to be uh, admitted is very very low, and it is low because he had he had 75.7 percent, and then the normal screening score is what is 70 point 70 to what to 75. So they will be like, okay, we have to what to increase this thing because you can only admit 80 students. We have to increase this thing to what to 82. 82.82 to 85. And if there is significant increase in what in nursing cut off, that shows that there will be increase in what in medicine so cut off mark. Yes, there will be increase in medicine cut off mark. That's just what I want you guys to understand. So from there, that's that because of the population of, of students, it pushes the, the cut of mark, the cut of mark for, for nursing department to, to increase. So that's just it. so the admission for this one is what is rich. But one thing is that this one must not wait. For them to, uh, to give him or her any course, you have to check, okay, what other course can I actually fit in? Then you cannot uh, choose it. So it's very, very important. So that's just how to calculate what the screening score. And one thing is that I will release more of what a video as far as you know, showing is what is concerned. So if you love this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to, uh, to subscribe and make sure you want uh, to share this video to other aspirants that is finding it difficult to, uh, to calculate screening score or they even find it difficult to understand what screening score is. So you can share this video to them and that's just it. So keep all is well. All the best. Thanks for watching.